Hey guys, it's Redox. Welcome back to another Team Fight Tactics video. Today, we're going to talk about economy, gold, and leveling up, when you should be doing all these things, and how experience points work. This is going to be the economy and experience guide. Now, how how the income works is you gain when you first start in start the game. Uh, in the first round, you'll get two gold, and you can see in the passive income it says plus two gold on the bottom hand side of the screen here you get plus two gold every turn that's what it means it, you, it's just a passive income you'll get no matter what now there's also another type of gold cost uh, gold category called interest and says max five now, I'm gonna get to that in a bit now it's something I talk a lot in my streams and in my other videos I sometimes give you guys tips on how that works but basically the interest bracket max five right now is at plus zero why because in order to get interest and that's extra gold per round you need to be at the double digit numbers so the first uh interest you'll get is at 10 gold you get plus one gold the next round and if you have 20 gold then you'll get plus two gold if you have 30 gold you get plus three gold if you have 40 gold plus four gold 50 gold plus five gold and that's the max and that's why it says max five you can only get max interest of plus five gold every turn and that's what it means so as long as you hold that amount, that large amount of gold in your bank you will constantly get a passive interest rate so it's like the bank if you guys have ever opened up a bank account it's exactly the same thing and that's why it's called the interest and we're gonna be fighting a player right so uh, let's give, I'm just gonna give uh, some, I should be giving my items to some of my guys here, so I'm just gonna give them those items for now. But uh, going back to the gold here, guys, uh, keep in mind, is if you get a higher amount of gold saved in your bank, uh, the more interest you'll get. So remember guys, it's every 10 gold up to 50 gold. You get plus 5 gold, that's when you cap out. If you can hold 50 gold every turn, that's a lot of income. You're doubling your income. You can see my passive income has gone to plus 4 gold. I believe the passive income will cap out at plus 5 gold. So it actually goes up from 2 gold to 4 gold, and then it, I think it goes to 5 or 6, and it stops there. So that's how much you'll get every turn no matter what, as the game progresses. The interest gold, you need to hold a certain amount of gold to get the bonus or you don't. The win-loss streak, that's the third category. Um, and basically, if you win constantly, you'll get a win streak gold bonus. If you lose constantly, you will also get a loss streak gold bonus as well. So it's very interesting on how that works. And I'm actually gonna level myself up here. We're gonna put a Mordkaiser. And why did I level myself up that turn? Because I was sitting at four out of six experience points from level three, and then I got to level four now, so I could put four units on the board. And basically, every time you spend four gold, you get four experience points. This is a very important concept to understand. You need to know when to spend your gold. I just need to roll four more gold and then get to the next level. And having one level, one unit, one more unit on the board is a huge advantage. Now, you don't always have to level yourself up. You can save your gold and try to get yourself an income going on with the interest, extra interest gold. But it's better for me in this case to level up because I was under 10 gold anyways. If I'm under 10 gold, I'm getting no interest anyway. So there, there's no point. Now, I just won two rounds. And you can see my win-loss streak. Gold went from zero to plus one. Because I've won two games in a row, I'm on a win streak bonus. And this win streak bonus will go up as I win more games continuously. And the passive income has gone to plus five, just like as I expected. And and once again, guys, plus five gold is really where it caps out uh, with the passive income, I believe. It doesn't go any higher than that. So plus five gold is how much you'll get every time from now, no matter what. And the interest gold, I'm not at 10 gold yet, so I will not be getting plus one, plus two gold, and whatnot. The win loss, the win loss streak bonus, I'll be getting the winning streak bonus of plus one gold next turn. So I'm getting a total income of six gold if I win this round. Now, if I lose this, my win streak bonus gold will actually stop. But I think I should be able to win here. The Garen red buff and the veins here, they're pulling off through oh and uh just realized i got a third board kaiser wasn't paying attention to that because i was talking about the income and the economy and right now i'm sitting at four out of ten experience points so you're gonna have to constantly watch your experience points your gold your income you have to think about all of these continuously throughout the game at the at the first it's not going to be easy for you guys to completely grasp this and think about this all the time but as you get better as, as a player you're going to really just understand that that 
that when, when you need to spend income, you need to spend your gold to level yourself up or to refresh. That's the other way you can spend gold. But we're not going to be refreshing anytime soon yet. And do not refresh at all in the beginning of the game. If you ever refresh, it is a huge mistake and you're really doing yourself, you're really hurting yourself by doing that. If you refresh in the beginning of the game, you're wasting gold. A good player will never ever refresh this early into the game. And the reason why I say this is because you want to ideally start to get some interest gold going up. The player that knows how and to how to get the interest gold fast is going to be the better player always. So I'm going to level myself up. Once again, I'm under 10 gold. I could save, I can sell some units to get plus 10 gold, but it's not, I mean, plus one gold next turn, but it's not worth it. And I was sitting at six out of 10 experience points. So we're going to buy somebody here and we'll put a Mord on the board, get some more Knights on the board here. As I'm level five now, I was sitting at six out of 10 experience points. Remember guys, plus four gold, you spend four gold, you get four experience points. So six plus four, that's 10. And that gets you from level four to five. I can put a fifth unit on the board and it's going to ensure me a, a, a win here just with the extra units, but maybe not. This guy's vein is pretty strong with the Gwinsus and Titanic Hydra. Uh, and my Fiora is deciding to just AFK on the board. She's starting to move now, but I still got this through. The red buff again, really helping me out. Um, the red buff is a really good item, so I did choose that with the chain vest and the giant's health belt. We got the third Garen, so we got a two-star Garen going on. And now you can see I'm sitting at 10 gold and I'll get a plus one gold next turn. And you can see my win streak bonus has gone to plus two gold because I've won already over four games in a row. Um, and I believe it's every two games you win, you get another extra gold and it caps out at plus three gold, I believe. I could be wrong on this. So the, the win streak gold tends to cap out at plus three gold from, from what I know. Now, I could buy one of these guys here. I could buy the Volley Bear. Um, because I kind of, I am kind of going for glacials, so I guess I'll buy the Volibear. Once again, I'm sitting under 10 gold. It's not a big deal because, um, you know, plus one gold and not getting that extra plus one gold next turn is not a huge deal. But let's say my interest gold was going to be at 50, and at 50, if I was holding 50 gold, I'd, get, I'd be getting plus five gold. Um, if I go from plus five gold to zero, which means I spent all my 50 gold in this turn, um, then that's a lot of interest gold lost. What ideally you want to do is hold up a lot of income, a lot of bank, a lot of a lot of money in your bank, so you can get a lot of interest um, every turn. And if once you're sitting at you know 30 gold and above, so 30, 40, or 50, I would try to hold it and try to get the gold as much as you can each round. Now. The only time I would recommend you hold 40 or 50 gold, because that's a lot of gold you're not using. Keep in mind, the, the amount, if you're not using any gold, you're not buying units, you're not refreshing, which you're going to do later on in the game, which means you're not finding units that you most likely need for your unit synergy. So your units are not getting stronger if you're holding gold. That's the downside. The only downside is you're not going to be able to level up your units because you're not spending gold and uh, you won't be able to uh, search for stronger units to make your team stronger, of course, or fit, get that last um, synergy going on. And that's very important fundamental concept in the game as well if you want to win. So you really need to be aware of how you spend your gold and you have to think carefully. And that's kind of one of the trickiest parts of this game in the beginning is understanding how to use your gold wisely. Um, it's something a lot of new players, you know, don't really know how to manage. You know, it's like managing money. If someone just gave you money you'll most likely just spend all your money. That's usually the first reaction people get when they first have a large amount of cash because they don't know what to do with all this money. They can think, oh, I could spend all this money and you know, there goes there goes my savings, not a big deal, right? Because it's newfound money. And it's the same thing. When you first start this game, you're just gonna be, I used to spend a lot of money um, without trying to get the income, without the interest, uh, but the interest is super important. Just like in real life, saving money saves lives, saves your life, and you get to retire a lot sooner. So that's my tip to you guys. Try to save as much gold as you can. I'm seeing at 20 gold. I could level myself up here, but we are not going to do that. I'm just going to put, uh, I guess I'll, no, I'll keep the Mordkaisers for now. Not really getting the units that I want. I'm at 20 gold, so I'll get plus two gold next turn. I was thinking about leveling myself up here. It would have costed me, I'm at six out of 18 experience points. So it would have costed me um, four times three, 12 gold. So I would have been losing the plus two gold interest because I would have had eight gold remaining. So there is a difference between plus two gold getting next turn and getting zero gold next turn. So 
I decided to not level myself up here. And I still have not lost a single round. I have a really good synergy going on with Knights and Nobles. Um, so, you know, I don't, I'm not really in a position where I need to spend gold. I mean, honestly, I would only start worrying about this stuff once you're at below 50 health points because you're going to start losing uh, health points too, too fast and you may end up losing the game. I'm at plus 30 gold. And once again, it's exactly the magic number. I don't want to spend any gold. Notice how I'm just keep banking on my uh, on my uh, total income. So I'll be getting uh, the win-loss streak bonus. It seems like it caps out at plus two gold, actually, not plus three. So it caps out at plus two. And the interest, I'm getting plus three. Passive income is plus five. So the maximum income I'm getting right now is 10 gold. So it's five plus three plus two. But if I have 50 gold, I can get 12 gold per turn. So that's really cool. Um, I may lose to this guy. He's got a Lissandra with Zeke's Herald, and he's got a Glacial build. Yeah, so it looks like this is where my win streak is going to end. If I did want to continue my win streak, I would have leveled myself up. Uh, but you know what? That's fine. I guess I'll lose the win streak um, gold here. So I'll lose plus two gold. I guess it is hefty, but it's not too bad when you think about it. It's only plus two, so I still got a plus eight gold there. I lost the game there, so my win streak bonus stops. It goes, it resets back to zero. So that's how win streak loss win streak um bonus gold works get the other brom and i think it's time to level myself up so i'm going to spend eight gold so i'm using i'm managing my gold wisely and i guess we're gonna put some units here we'll we'll put the glacials and i'm thinking of giving the spear of shojin on ash yeah let's do that so i just gave her a spear of shojin after casting rare gains 50% of its max mana per attack. She gets to fire her arrow, uh, her enchanted crystal arrow more rapidly with the Spear of Shojin. So it's a really nice um, item. It's just I need to get a two-star Ash going on because the one-star Ash is very, very weak. She's very uh, easily killed and she doesn't do as much damage right now. I'm just kind of using her more as a stun bot. Uh, but I may transition into some Glacials here with the Holy Bear and, and so on. Because glacial, Glacials, of course, are meta. Now, I want my game there so my win streak bonus is going to start to come back as if i keep winning more games from this point on remember guys every two win you get plus one gold and then the win streak uh win streak bonus gold caps out at plus two gold it seems so that's what it does so most of your money is not made from the win streak bonus gold it's made from the passive income plus five gold and your interest so interest i think is the most important part of getting your economy ramped up and banking on the future of the strength of your champs, the future of, of your ability to find strong champs. Okay, I guess we'll get the Aurelian Soul. Um, and I think I'm going to sell the Aurelian Soul for a giant spell because I actually have a Negatron's Cloak, I believe. Let me just check. I have a Negatron's Cloak, right? Yes, I do. And the reason why I got the giant spell here is because they combined into a really good item called the Zephyr. And the Zephyr is just simply amazing, guys. On start of combat, banish an enemy for five seconds. I always like to go for this item if I can. Get another Mordkaiser. And... Yeah, we'll put all our units like this. I really want a Leona that will work with Braum. But anyways... Yeah, once again, I'm holding off on my gold. I'm sitting at a healthy 87 health. I'm above 50 health points, so I'm not worried. Now, these Assassins are going to end up killing my Ash here. Uh, and the Vein here, but... Um, at least one arrow is fired off, so I should be fine. And so I, I'm at 37 gold. So I'm getting plus 5 gold, plus 3 gold, 8 gold in total. I'm getting interest of 3 gold. I'm going to try to bring it up to 50 if I can. But um, I would only hold at 40 or 50 gold if you're winning really hard. And you're like winning literally every round. Because uh, you, need to, you need to be spending gold if you're not winning hard. You need to be, I would say, just stop at 30 gold and spend anything above 30 gold if you're not winning a lot because if you lose a lot you'll just lose so you see i won two games in a row my win streak bonus is back at plus one goal we'll get the lissandra for the uh, of course we'll get her for the um elementalist frozen tomb i'm gonna actually refresh spend some gold here i just refreshed once because i was going to sit at 43 here if i buy a champion i was most likely set at 40 gold i want to be above 40 gold right now so as you guys can see my interest went from plus three to plus four because i'm at 40. And I should be able to still win most of these guys. Now, this guy has his own Glacial, but he's, this is the guy I lost to. Lissandra, Zeke's Herald, Static Shiv. But the new Zephyr and the Spear of Shojin Ash should be help, helping me out here. 
Uh, but it looks like I'm going to barely lose that Lissandra's Frozen Tomb just keeps freezing everybody. So is the Ash, of course. And it looks like, yeah, I will lose. This guy's the only guy I have lost to so far, I believe. Um, I don't think I've lost to any other players. It's the same player I've been losing to. So I'm aware that that's the type, that's the guy who's going to be a problem. Now I'm at 50 gold and I'm getting a max gold of plus five. So a uh, plus five and five. So it's going to be 10 gold. No win loss streak anymore because I won and now I lost. So then once again, it resets. It resets every time it does that. Now keep in mind, let's say you're losing a lot, then you'll get a loss streak bonus gold as well. And the thing is, if you lose a lot and you get the extra plus two gold, but then you win one game, then you lose that bonus. So it's funny how that works. Sometimes it's better to lose many games in a row. Um, but of course, the negative side effect is you'll lose a lot of health points and you'll most likely get kicked out of the game very early. So the lose streak gold bonus is good. It helps. It's supposed to help players get back into the game if they're losing. So if you get the additional two gold, but it's not a lot of gold. I would really not bank on the win-loss streak gold too much, but it's nice to have. It's mainly the interest gold and the passive income you'll always get no matter what. So now I'm at above 50 gold. I don't need to be capping. I don't need to be saving 60 gold, right? Because remember, guys, it caps out. So I'm just going to buy some champions. I'm going to refresh as well. This is when I start refreshing, when I'm above a, a large amount of gold. I got to reposition my units, though. Yeah, I gotta reposition my units first. We'll get the other Volley Bear. Did I have? I only have two Volley Bears right now. Get the other Mordekaiser. And I'll just spend my gold. I, you can actually spend your gold here. As you guys see, it's refresh. Refresh is two gold. Um, and you're gonna need to start using this at some point. Got a two star Braum. Um, and there's another Mordekaiser. I guess I'm, you know what, I might have to sell my Mordkaiser though, because Mordkaiser, he is good, but he doesn't really fit in with my comp. Mordkaiser doesn't really fit in my comp. It's too bad I'm not getting any veins right now, because my veins still sitting at one health. So once again, I'm above 50 gold, so I'm going to spend it. Um... Oh my god, I got to get rid of the Mordkaiser, huh? I don't know. I'm going to hold off on the Mordkaiser for now. Okay. I am starting to lose because I have I have mainly... I still have a very weak Ash, weak Vein. Maybe I should have just got the 3-star. Try to get a 3-star Mordkaiser up. Probably was a better idea. 3-star Kha'Zix and 3-star Cassidy is going to get through here. Okay, I'm gonna just I'm gonna spam the refresh next turn. I didn't refresh fast enough that turn because I'm really choked on who who I should be selling. I should be also putting Braum on the board. Um, this Braum because he's two stars. I still kept my one star Braum there by accident. So I'm, I'm definitely not playing the best right now. Uh, so I I do apologize about that. I was playing well in the beginning, but then I just kind of started messing up here. Get another. I'll put the other Braum. We'll sell this Braum for now. I have 70 gold. I, actually, I'm going to level myself up. And I'll put an extra unit on the board. That's going to help me out a, a bit a bit more, I would say, right now. We can get another Zephyr, too. Put it on the Mordkaiser for now. So we have two Zephyrs, which I also could have built way early on in the game. My apologies. Um, so we're going to banish two champions for five seconds. He's got a double Gwyn Su's vein. So he's got a Tristana with a Shoujin sword. Spear of Shoujin. Interesting. I guess she gets she gets to use her explosive shot a little bit more here. Um, and they're just too strong. Like his AD carries are just, first of all, two stars, three items. Another two star Tristana with Spear of Shoujin. Yeah, his, his AD carries are just better than mine, so... I've got the nice tanks going on, but... You know, once again... Uh, right now, I'm sitting at 48 gold. I could be sitting at 50 gold. I could sell somebody, but... I don't need that extra 1 gold. I mean, plus 4 and plus 5 gold, same thing. I'm just keeping myself healthy and high. And, uh, yeah, that's really what I'm trying to do. Um, we're, I guess we're going to get the Kale, because it looks like... Or... Yeah. 
We're gonna get the KO. I could get the BF Sword with Kindred. I mean, I am going for quite a bit of Rangers. But I think I'll try to go for Nobles here. Try to go for a full 6 Noble build. With Glacials, I don't know. It's gonna be either 6 Glacials or 6 Nobles. That's all. That's kind of what we're doing right now. So, the Kindred actually would have worked well with Mordkaiser. But I think I'm gonna sell my Mordkaiser, even though it may not be the best choice. Got another Ash, finally. Um, You know what? I'll, yeah, I guess I'll keep the Mordkaiser for now. Got another more Volley Bear, so we're gonna put Volley Bear on the board. We got another Lucian. Damn. Mordkaiser. Okay, so we're gonna wait. Got another Volley Bear. Just need another, like, Lissandra or something like that. We got a Leona, that's good. Leona's good. Should I sell my Kale? Oh, I'll sell my Fiora. Put the Leona on the board. And uh, looks like we're gonna beat this round. It seems. The Glacials are... The new Bully Bear edition is, has helped a little bit. But this Nidalee is very strong. But yeah, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Okay, so I'm at 39 gold. Would that be nice if I was at plus 40? So my interest dropped to plus 3 gold. So it's plus 5, plus 3, plus 2. Because uh, I was losing. So notice that time I was actually... I lost two games. I lost like three games in a row or something like that. So three or four. So I got the lost streak bonus of plus 2 gold. Uh, but now I won, so I don't get plus two gold anymore for losing. So we'll refresh once again. Finally, two star Ash. I just gotta put find a place for Leona. Damn, do I gotta get rid of the uh, Mord Kaiser? Looks like we're not going for Mord anymore. So I'll give the Zephyr to to Volley Bear. So I got the Guardian bonus going on, so plus 40 armor to all my units, so they're super tanky. Um, and I I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go get rid of the Mordkaisers. I've already, I mean, if I wanted to go for Mordkaiser, I should have got him at 3 stars when I had the chance. But um, that time, you know, I made a decision to not get him, so. And hopefully this, oof, this, this Mega Nar is a problem, yo. That Meganar always a problem. So is this Yordle right here in the back. Triple item on her. Now I'm at 30 health, so I'm getting to a dangerous point. I think I may need to start spamming. Oh, you know what? This is a Crimson Raptor phase. Okay, so another tip is for neutral monster phases. As long as it's not, you're not at the Infernal Drake phase, which is um, the next next neutral monsters after this. I would say hold your gold because you're the neutral monsters are very easy to beat It's essentially a free round for you to not spend any gold So I'm not gonna spend any gold right now. I'm exactly at 51 gold. I get the max interest of 5 gold um, So I'm not gonna spend any gold until next turn because I know I'm gonna beat them Why spend gold when you don't have to remember that's the best way to spend your gold if you don't need to spend gold Don't do it Hold it in the bank. That's always what you do. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now I know I'm going to beat these guys with ease, so we're going to be fine. And I got a nice recurve bow, I can give it to my Ash. My Bane's still at 1 star, oh my god, another giant spelt and a recurve bow. Oh no, never mind, that's not a Negatrons. I was thinking Negatrons there. Now we're going to spend gold. 2 star Lissandra, 2 star Bane, finally. Another Ash. Yeah, time to get rid of the Mordkaisers. I was forged by winter. How many Brahms do I? I don't have enough Brahms. Okay, that's all we're gonna do. And I'm gonna take out the Fiora. The Sichuani is gonna be more important. Recurve Bow and Ash. So she's gonna attack faster. I have four Glacials, 30% chance to stun. And yes, I love Sichuani. She's very good. But this guy has backs to the wall right now. And he has very strong units. Bloodthirst for Gwinsu's on Ash. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna beat this guy. My Sejuani literally just sat there the whole time. It's gonna be a very close game. Wow. 
I think the Spear of Shoujins is better because you can see Ash. Oh my god, this Ash is just pulling. She's actually gonna. Oh my god, y'all. The Spear of Shoujin MVP beat a Gwinsu's Bloodthirster. I don't think he expected me to beat him. Even myself. I'm shocked I beat him there. Get another two star bully. Actually, Lissandra is better than Sejuani because my Lissandra is at two stars. Now, how much gold do I. Now, I'm gonna refresh. We're very close to a three star bully bear. Tremble at my roar. Yeah, we're very close to a three star bully bear. So, we're gonna keep buying, buying the bully bears. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna hold off now. Giant spelt. I'm gonna make my bully bear more tanky. And this ash is amazing. She she really carried that round. Like that round I was supposed to lose. Like all of my guys died, but Ash killed like four to five guys by herself. Incredible. So the spear of Shojin has to be one of the best items on her. And the recurve bow with Gwinsu's, that's kind of what I'm gonna be going for, I guess. Anyways, plus three gold this turn because I'm sitting at 35. I think I should have kept myself at plus at, at plus 40 gold. Uh, but I really want a third holy bear right now. Another Sichuani. So it looks like we're going to go for glacials because we're getting more glacials than nobles. I mean, we are getting nobles, but the nobles are not as good. Yes, three star holy bear, y'all. Oh my god. We got, we got the beef. We got the beef, everybody. And I'm at 32 gold. I think this new 3-star Holy Bear is going to be a very strong add-on. I don't think I'm going to be need to spend in gold right now. So I'm going to hold off. And get the interest gold. Remember guys, don't spend gold if you don't have to. Um, and yeah, this 3-star Holy Bear is going to be a very good addition to the team. So I'm going to hold off. We should be able to beat this guy. Like this guy barely scratching my Holy Bear. Holy Bear is so tanky. My god. And the double Zephyrs I have, really good. Taking out two guys for five seconds. Just always keep that in mind, guys. That's a really great ability. And uh, we're going to come back in this game. So, ooh, Anivia is the final Glacial unit. I guess we're going to go for Anivia. Or we get a BF Sword. We go for a Lucian or Fiora. No, he grabbed the Anivia. Okay, that's too bad. Or we grab the Leona with a BF Sword. So Leona will be at two stars. Oh, he grabbed the Leona before me. I guess we'll grab the Lucian. Well, we grabbed the Fiora. It doesn't matter. I, was, I just wanted the BF Sword. I think I should grab the Leona. Yeah, that was a mistake. But Leona with BF Sword is bad. I would have probably sold her for the BF Sword anyways. But I've, I would have gotten more gold with her. Okay, so... I spend a bit more gold here. Swiftly now. Okay, I bought the Lucian and then I sold it. Silly me. I mean, I didn't buy the other Lucian. Okay, we got the BF Sword. Sword of Divine on Ash. Or Voli Bear, Zeke's Herald. Zeke's Herald would have been good. Actually, I'm not a huge fan of the Sword of Divine, but I'm gonna just give whatever items I can to win. Now, this is the guy I'm always kind of scared of losing to. But this is the guy we won. Miraculously. And I think we'll beat him again this time. But he has a lot of strong items. His Ash got another PF sword. And that's Sejuani, Morelos, and Chain Vest. So he's, she's cutting down health as well here. Ooh, she's actually going to win. Yeah. Okay, I've got to reposition. I think I'm going to put all my units towards the right-hand side. Because this unit is just way too close to mine. I don't like it. Almost have a 3-star Ash too, which would be really nice. Okay, I'm gonna stop spending the gold. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna reposition my units like this because I think um, for that guy, I need to keep my guys far away. I mean, I don't know if that's going to be better, but I've got to try something else here, right? These other guys, I'm not worried about. And I'm going to keep myself plus 20 gold. I feel like I should have just leveled myself up, maybe. 
I'm at, I'm at 20 out of 20 experience points next turn because I'll get 18 plus 2. Remember, guys, 2 experience points per turn. So I need to get 26 more experience points. So that's 4 times 7. 20. I'll need, I'll need to spend 20. No, 4 times 7. Yeah. Yeah, I'll need to spend 28 gold. I have exactly the right amount of gold to level myself up. But that's using all of my income. I'm, I'm going to save save my gold because once again neutral monster round this is the one monster round where i would be careful of if you're not sure if you if you're strong enough to beat the infernal drake i would um just buy champions because you don't want to lose to this round uh neutral monster rounds remember always try to win them neutral monster rounds should always be like technically a free win but this round is a bit trickier than the other ones but i'm not gonna spend any gold and once again at neutral monster rounds i try to hold off my gold so i get the extra passive income I'll get rid of my Fiora. So I'll get plus 3 gold next turn. I went from 28 to 30. Sometimes you sell units like that. I don't think I'll ever use Fiora again. So got rid of her. I think we're going to go for 6 Glacials and not 6 Nobles, right? So so that's what we're trying to do here. Got a Negatrons. We get another Zephyr. Y'all, it's a double Zephyr. Triple, triple Zephyr. Hey, collect as many Zephyrs as you can. Why not? I'm going to level myself up. So I have 10 gold now. Very low on gold. We'll put the Sejuani. We need one. We need the Anivia. And we have a full Glacial build comp going on. Should I put the Kale instead of the... No. If I take off Vayne, I lose the Ranger bonus. So I want to keep my Kale. Okay. I'm going to... I could... I, you know, I'm going to buy the Braum. I don't need the extra one gold. I took out three guys with the triple Zephyrs. Oh my god. This, this item is so dumb. Like, Garen decided to just stand there for a little bit, huh? This is the guy I lost to, but I'm going to beat him now. And he also repositioned his units. Because remember, he was actually on this side, and that's the reason why I moved over here. But he decided to move all of them over here. But the triple Zephyrs, y'all. <laughs> the triple Zephyrs. Oh my god, I think, I think that was the trick. Triple Zephyrs. Um, get the Sejuani. Reroll a bit here, because I'm at I'm only at 13 health. So if I lose the next round, it's over. I have to spend all my gold, or I don't have to. But come on, can we get an Ash? Not a single Ash. There's too many Ashes on the board. I think the other guys all have Ash, I believe. So. I think it's it's pretty much down to who's got the better glacial build going on here, and I think I've got the I'm not getting any Anivias, which is very unfortunate. Oh, this guy doesn't have any ash. He's going for voids and demons and uh, blade masters and draven. But I think I'll beat him here. My build is way stronger than his, I think, for late game. His build is pretty good though. But my glacial freeze, yeah, he's got a nice imperial, double the damage, right, with draven and swain. Ooh, that's gonna be a close one. And I can't crit on Draven. Oh, wow. Yeah, keep in mind, he's got the Phantom Dancer. He actually beat me there. That was surprising. I thought I was gonna beat him. Huh. I'm gonna reposition all my units again. Alright, let's do this. Refresh. Nope, not getting lucky with my refreshes. Yeah, I mean, I think I, maybe I should start saving my gold instead. I'm not getting a single Leona. This guy should be able to beat. He's the guy I beat, um, who, I had a, who I had a problem with, but no longer. I think the problem is going to be Skarl Marks, the first place guy. The guy I just lost to. Yeah, this guy's not a problem. I'm spending a lot of gold, and unfortunately my RNG is not very good this game. Because I spent a lot of gold refreshing, and I'm getting nobody that I want. And I need an Anivia. Really, really, really need an Anivia here. And no Anivia in the shared draft phase either. Just perfect. So I think I'm gonna, I might just end up losing. Do I go for the Kindred or Bully Bear? Ha! He was gonna go for the Kindred, I got him. I just grabbed whatever he was trying to get. 
I mean, none of these champions that I really want. The items on them were okay. If I can get another Zephyr, that would be nice. Okay, this is really it. I really need to be getting somebody good. You know what? I'm going to get the Wormogs on Bully Bear. I need every item I can, and I'm not using Kale anyways. Oh, we got the Leona! My, ah! That's when you hit the reroll too fast. I was panicking. Oh my god, that Leona is going to cost me. I could have got a two-star Leona. I rolled into her and I refreshed. I'm so stupid. Oh, his Phantom just did... His Phantom took 3,000 health off my Volley Bear. Keep in mind, he has a Mordkaiser and a, and a Kindred. So basically, Kindred and Mordkaiser abilities to make a unit 200 health. Can we beat him? No. Oh yeah, we're going to actually beat this guy this time. He's going for... Yes! We made it! No! <laughs> that extra Leona could have been made a difference between win or loss. Oh my god, y'all. That was so close. He literally had 3 health points. I had 6. That was neck to neck. Oh my god. And also, I got very unlucky that round. Actually, even without the Leona at 2 stars, it wouldn't have mattered. Um... The main reason I lost was my Volley Bear, my strongest unit, had went from 3k health. I gave him literally all my items too, to, to just 100. The reason why is because he had the Phantom bonus. Kindred and Mordkaiser saps a random enemy champ to 100 health point. And they chose my strongest guy. So my Volley Bear was already weak, very weak from the start. There was like, I would have won that round. Basically, if Volley Bear started off with 3k health and not 100, so I would have been first place. Even without the two-star Leona, I would have been first place here. But anyways, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you guys can see, um, I started to refresh a lot when I either, either of these two situations, okay? Uh, if I start losing a lot and I'm at a low health point, so if I'm going from below 50 health points, I need to start refreshing. But never refresh early game. Doesn't matter if you're losing a lot in the early game. Just do not ever touch the refresh button. You're wasting two gold. As you guys saw at the end there, I got very unlucky with the RNG. I got no ashes. My ash is very close to a three star. Once again, would have made a difference. Yes, I got a third Leona. That was a mistake on my part. Uh, but I mean, the biggest reason I lost that game was because my Volley Bear got his health sap, sap to 100. Um, and so then the refreshing gold, I also use it if I'm winning a lot. And once I'm over 50 gold, then I start refreshing because I'm winning a lot. I can bank on as much gold as I want. I'm going to beat the other players in terms of economy, which means I have way more gold that I can spend on, on my units to make my team stronger, which is very important. That's how you win games. The more three-star units that you have, the better synergies, um, the better meta builds you got going on, you know, like glacials and whatnot, the better, way better chance you have to win. Um, so that's what I do. I, if I'm winning a lot, I go all the way up to 50 gold or 40 gold, and then I refresh. And I also level myself up as well in times where I have enough gold to level myself up and still have some gold remaining in the bank for interest. I usually don't recommend you to level up. Let's say you're, you, let's say you have 40 gold in the bank, but it costs you exactly 40 gold to go from level seven to eight. And you spend all that 40 gold, you're losing plus four gold for interest next round. That's terrible. Don't do that. Um, it is a common mistake uh, because yes, having an extra unit on the board is extremely powerful, but it's not worth losing a plus four gold to interest because you want to spend all that gold to level yourself up. It's actually better to refresh uh, if you use about 10 gold to refresh and keep yourself at 30 gold for interest or 20 gold. And you might get a champion that you can upgrade to and just keep the same amount of units. It's much better to do that than get an extra champion slot and not even have, let's say, the right units to place on the board, and you lose all that extra interest because you need to have a lot of gold saved up in the bank to get interest. Interest is very important. If you want to be a good player, you need to know how to save your gold, and that's how, as long as you have a lot of gold in your bank, that's how you're going to get yourself in these top three positions. If you're in the top three position, um, you're going to go up in rank. So if you're playing rank mode, you're going to get you know, plus LP, uh, LP points 
um, towards your elo so you don't always have to be first place you just have to be in the top three even fourth place is good if you're below fourth place you start losing some lp points depending on the uh, mmr but if you're in the top four you're usually safe so it usually means you're 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 winning and it's not too hard to get into the top four position but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed my economy um, and experience guide so just always try to kind of follow the tips that i gave you guys in this video because these tips really work um, and I am a, I'm a, I would say I'm a decent player. Um, I always usually end up in the top three rank here, not first in a lot of cases, but second easily. Uh, and once again, second place means you, you won. You're, if you're playing rank mode, you're going up for sure if you're in second place. So anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my economy and leveling up experience guide as well. You guys saw, got to see some nice triple Zephyr action with, um, the glacials, which is, an amazing build uh, but thanks for watching guys remember to rate comment subscribe as well and check out my other videos and check check out my youtube stream if you have a chance and i'll see you guys next time